Stan Jubilisco here to explain graphically the meaning of three phase alternating current. When you have an alternating current uh, transmitted down a power line, you can do it most efficiently, they have found, if you send three different alternating current waves at the same time, each one identical to the other two, except that it differs in phase from the one before or after it by one-third of a cycle or 120 degrees of phase. Here what I'm showing is three sine waves, phase one in red, phase two lagging phase one by 120 degrees and shown in green, and phase three lagging phase two by another 120 degrees shown in blue and the blue wave then in its equivalent to leading phase one again the red wave by 120 degrees or a third of a cycle so you have three identical alternating current sine waves spaced equally three ways around the 360 degree phase cycle. One, com one actual cycle is 60 hertz from, say, the, the peak of one blue wave to the peak of the next blue wave is 360 degrees, one sixtieth of a second in the United States, and in much of the rest of the world, one fiftieth of a second. This method requires three wires and that's why you'll often see high voltage or high tension power lines with three sets of wires, transmission lines. Three wires or three um, what looks like runs of parallel wire line, but actually they're single conductors in effect. And at, at any great distance, these three phases tend to neutralize one another, minimizing the surrounding electromagnetic field and thereby minimizing losses in objects like buildings or the ground or trees or you. Nevertheless, if you get uh, within a certain distance of such a power line, you can get quite a lot of induced current, not only in objects such as fluorescent lamps, You've seen those demonstrations where people stand underneath a high tension line holding a high, uh, fluorescent lamp that lights itself and then claiming that this current is running through your body and it thereby causes cancer or some other such things. And it's interesting that the case is still open about that kind of thing. Nobody really knows what the effects of all of these 50 or 60 hertz electromagnetic fields have had in the last 100 or so years or now it would be more like 150 years. Uh, what, what types of effects these electromagnetic fields have actually had on the human body because 150 years is simply a gasp, a blink of an eye, a cough or a sneeze in the history of humanity and it's nowhere near time enough to assess the true effects. Could it be that the sudden proliferation that we see or the great proliferation of cancer that we see has something to do with alternating current electromagnetic fields produced by power lines? I don't know the answer to this and I don't know if anyone really does. However, um, it sure makes for sure makes for a good night's sleep, doesn't it? A nighttime horror tale for those at a loss for anything better to do. But three, but three phase AC. Th that's simply what it means. Three identical sine waves, each one 120 degrees out of phase with the one next to it, all run together at the same time, and when you utilize this uh, to for the purpose of running electric equipment 
you find that it works very well. You can pick any one of the three phases and use it as a single sine wave to power most common electrical appliances. Three phase AC in full color from Stan Gibalisco. Shutting up. Until next time, so long.